Hello and welcome to News at Noon. I'm Aftar Borka. It looks Detroit's financial future is now in the hands of Governor Rick Snyder. Our reporter Charlie Crum will tell us more about that and some good news in Oakland County. But first, Detroit. Charlie? Well, in Detroit, it's now up to Michigan Governor Rick Snyder to decide whether to uh, appoint an emergency manager to tra straighten out that city's finances. A state uh, review team's report uh, to the governor determined that the city is in a financial emergency and with no satisfactory plan to resolve it. Uh, the governor has 30 days to decide if Detroit needs an emergency manager, but it's likely that he'll make that decision sooner than uh, later, given uh, his history of acting very swiftly. Uh, Detroit would become the, city, uh, the state's largest city with an emergency manager. Uh, Pontiac in Oakland County has had one for years. And speaking of uh, Pontiac in Oakland County, property values across the county are actually going up for the first time in several years. Uh, countywide, the value of all property rose by about 1% last year, though it varies from community to community and even street to street or house to house. Among the biggest gainers were Bloomfield Hills and Birmingham with uh, more than a 5% appreciation in their uh, values. Pontiac, unfortunately, was the biggest loser with values falling more than 17%. All right, thank you, Charlie. And Oakland County Sheriff's Office is investigating an incident where a woman in Pontiac was shot in the stomach and then taken to hospital. Reporter John Turk knows more about that. John? Well, Aftab, uh, detectives are still not sure what happened. They're still working on the investigation. What we do know is a Pontiac resident who lives on the 100 block of Hamilton Court told deputies at 3 a.m. that his 18-year-old cousin was sh uh, shot in the stomach and needed immediate medical attention. The resident said he noticed that the window of the car was shot out and there was blood on the passenger seat. Uh, according to sheriff's deputies, though, the woman was dropped off at Crittenden Hospital in Rochester Hills shortly after. Uh, she's listening in stable condition. Thank you, John. And Walmart has given a $50,000 grant to Grace Centers of Hope in Pontiac to upgrade the center's kitchen, which serves meals to as many as 200 people a day. Hi, I'm Patrick Ken Clark with Grace Centers of Hope. I'm the CEO here. This is a great day for us. I want to first of all say thank you to Walmart for over $50,000 of our kitchen equipment here. I've been here for 26 years. Uh, the old equipment uh, was here when I came, so it's uh, been a long, long time since we've had the new equipment. This is uh, just a tremendous blessing, and of course, we're dependent on uh, volunteers and people to give food and give back. We served 136,000 meals last year. We increased our women and children's uh, department and programs here, so uh, I'm positive we'll be serving more meals next year. So a big thank you to Walmart. If you were surprised by the recent meteor hitting Russia and injuring about a thousand people, know that the scientists are not surprised by that. A reporter, Shannon Coughlin, asked the Cranbrook Institute of Science why. Events uh, like the one that happened today are probably not rare, uh, but the fact that it happened over a populated region is why we're hearing so much about it. There are lots of stray asteroid fragments and rocks that cross Earth's orbit. And actually, a lot of it enters the atmosphere you know, every year. You know, but, uh, there's just no way to track something that small. And in sports, not so much good news for the Spartans fans. The Michigan State basketball team lost to Indiana last night, making many people believe that the Hoosiers are still the best in the Big Ten. Here's the Spartans coach after the game. To me, the MVP of this league right now, Oladipo made every big play when he needed to. You know, the tip-in um, was phenomenal. Um, just did the job on the things he has to do. Did it offensively, defensively, quietly. Uh, we got off to such a poor start. I kept telling my staff that, uh, you know, if we can be within 10 at halftime, we got a chance. And when we were six, we were kind of static. And now Oakland Press sports columnist Pat Caputo with his video blog talking about the Tigers. Looking ahead at the Tigers season, I, you, people are wondering, well, you know, Tigers got the best team in the American League on paper, probably the best team in baseball on paper, but who are the other teams that are really, really good? And look, I don't know the exact team that's going to emerge and challenge them. I do know this, that Toronto made that trade with the Marlins and got a lot better. And people don't think about Toronto because it's been a long time since they've contended. And people are looking at the Yankees and looking at Boston and seeing where they've dipped down. But don't be surprised if Toronto is a force. They have a pretty good baseball tradition up there. People in Canada care a lot about baseball, more than what you might think. 
And uh, they're a big market. Toronto, if it was in this country, would be a top eight market in the immediate market. So they got a lot of money up there. So uh, watch out for the Blue Jays and also watch out for the Angels. I mean, their pitching staff is extraordinary. They still have some great players. And don't sleep on the Rangers. And that's it for tonight. Don't forget to watch us tomorrow at theoaklandpress.com. I'm Aftar Borka. Have a good day.